Uh, hello and welcome back to another look round RAF Swinderby. And today we're having a look round the uh, the WAF section, the uh, the Women's Auxiliary Air Force. Now this particular section actually closed down in uh, 1945 at the end of World War II, or maybe uh, early 1946, uh, somewhere around that period. And the land was, of course, given back to the farmer here at uh, Sheep Walks Farm. Now there's not a lot actually left of uh, the WAF section. There's the uh, the entrance to the kitchen, part of the officers' mess, and uh, a water tower, which uh, possibly fed the ablutions hut, I guess. And there's also three air raid shelters, which uh, could be of some interest to somebody. Although, uh, unfortunately, uh, one of the uh, the entrance walls has uh, caved in, so you can't actually get inside one of the air raid shelters. Now, it seems that uh, over the years, uh, nature has uh, taken over, and most of the buildings have now collapsed. I think the, that the farmer has also let the buildings go to, uh, to rack and ruin as well as he possibly had no, no need for them. But anyway, uh, we're just flying this drone around the, uh, the WAF section at the moment. And once we've come into land, then we shall go for a wander around and see uh, what is actually left. Now, incidentally, uh, most of this uh, land that we're uh, flying above is actually earmarked for uh, building. They're going to build some 1,250 homes uh, on this land here and the land there in the distance that you can see. In fact, they've already started to uh, put in the, uh, the drainage and mark out the roads on uh, part of the land and they're going to move this way over the next uh, coming months. So all this uh, this WAF section we have here is all earmarked for demolition. And there's some uh, remains of some of the walls of uh, some of the buildings are still there. There is the uh, the water tower we can see there just uh, in the picture at the moment. Now this video uh, lasts for about uh, 45 minutes to an hour. I'm trying to, uh, to film as much as I can of this site uh, before it does all get uh, demolished. And across there in the distance you can see where all the, uh, the building work is uh, starting to take place, where they're uh, putting in the drainage and uh, that sort of thing and marking out the roads. The main part in the picture now is, uh, is farm buildings. Now beneath these trees here, I believe uh, is the kitchen and uh, the officer's mess. I'll just spin this drone round in a moment and uh, we'll see if we can uh, get closer to, uh, to the officer's mess, or what's left of it anyway.
So there it is in the center of our screen now. Most of these trees seem to be poking up through the uh, the roofs of the buildings down there. Now I did actually come here and uh, visit this place uh, in the summertime, and you couldn't get anywhere near these buildings at all because of uh, the foliage and. Uh, the creepers and all the, the bushes and the trees and everything was in the way. So I thought I'd come back here in winter time when uh, all the trees and that have died off and all the leaves have come off the trees to see if we can get uh, a better view of what's uh, actually left here at the RAF at Swindaby WAF site. just try and get as, uh, as much video as I can from up here and then we shall land this drone and then we'll go for a walk around and see if we can get uh, inside some of the buildings that's left here so here we are standing outside at the entrance to uh, to the kitchen I believe which uh, according to the plans should take us inside the uh, the officers mess as well now as you can see everything is crumbling all around it very very dangerous place to uh, to visit this Now I often say this in my videos, if you do come and uh, visit places like this then uh, please tell people where you're going or better still take somebody with you never turn up to these places alone because they are very very dangerous indeed and this one of course closed down at the end of World War II in 1945 and hasn't been used since so uh, very dilapidated and very very dangerous Let's, uh, have a look inside. It may be too dark to take uh, a video inside. We shall do what we can do. If not, we shall take photographs. As you can see, everything's caving in inside here. Oh, there you go. That's the uh, the entrance to the kitchen. I don't think they'll be doing much uh, cooking in there today. see the roofs all collapsed in here in fact I think everything's collapsed in here there's not a lot left of the kitchen at all nature certainly has taken over and of course they had uh, metal roofs I think uh, on places like this and over the years they've all rusted away they've all got damp inside and it's uh, caused these vines and creepers to grow inside and take over the place
Now, when I visited this place in the summertime, there is absolutely no way you could get down this corridor. You couldn't even see this corridor, it's just uh, covered in creepers and vines. But uh, today we're going to see if we can actually get down here. As you can see, all the, the creepers and the vines have all died off for the winter. got no idea where this leads or uh, what sort of uh, building this is. Uh, a friend of mine did tell me that uh, part of the officer's mess is here so maybe this is it. part here still got its roof on which is amazing oh wow we've got uh, we've got trees growing up from the floor of this corridor that's awesome. Absolutely awesome. You see all these creepers going up the walls and that. Amazing. Look at that. Wow. All these vines and creepers everywhere. When nature has uh, taken over. But as I was saying, very, very dangerous place. You can see that all the walls are crumbling. As nature tries to, uh, to break its way through. And of course, I should say they're all damp, ever really, really damp here. <laughs> Look at that, an old bicycle down there. And you can see it's uh, rotten, covered in rust. That's how damp it is in these places. And of course, all the windows are falling out as well. What an amazing place. Truly amazing. <laughs> that's, that's great. I can't believe that. There's a tree growing in the middle of a corridor. All this should be inside. This is a, an indoor corridor. There should be a roof over this. several rooms down here. They all appear to be the same. <laughs> Look at the size of that tree growing up through the floor. Amazing. Like I said, when you come here in the summertime, you can't see this building at all because it's absolutely just covered in green, green leaves, nothing else.
maybe somebody would like to uh, comment in the, uh, the comments about uh, some of these rooms I'm walking into if they can recognize them at all. Some XRAF personnel might be able to tell me what these rooms are whether they're bedrooms or part of the officer's mess or what, I don't know. Truly an awesome place. Wow, every room is absolutely covered. Every room has been taken over by nature. Truly awesome. You can certainly get some uh, very interesting photographs when you come round here. I've shot some video I shall have to uh, come back round again and take a few photographs as I'm not too sure how the video is going to turn out there's a lot of sunlight poking through and uh, a lot of darkness and trying to get uh, good shots between the the light and the dark. So I hope uh, I hope that you're all seeing this. I can't get over that. This this, this tree that's right in the centre of the corridor. So that's that bit. So we'll go back to where we started, just up here. And there was another corridor. So if we turn right, that's where we came in. So we'll turn left. Now that brickwork just there looks like uh, possibly the farmer bricked the place up, bricked the doors up and that, but uh, nature's pushed its way through or either that or vandals have many years ago, but look at this, look at that look. The brickwork on the floor there, you can see the whole place is uh, dropping to pieces. I said a very, very dangerous place to, to visit. It uh, could all cave in on you at any minute, but uh, also an awesome place to come and visit. Uh. I can't get over how nature has, you know, taken over the place. When you think that these are all rooms, I don't know if they were someone's bedrooms or if they were offices or whatever. Wow, what an awesome sight. Just think, if you left your house for uh, 70 years, and then you returned. You think it'll be like this inside?
when nature had taken over. Somewhere underneath that lot is a roof, rotted away. I don't think this uh, video really shows how awesome this place really is, you know. Totally amazing. This is what happens when you leave a place derelict. I'm guessing that when it closed down you had the usual vandals come round and smash the windows and whatever. and then uh, they let nature take its course. This uh, archway looks like it's about to crumble and these walls are all cracked in here so I must be very careful in this one. Bricks everywhere they've, where they've caved in. Water tank uh, at the top there. Maybe this is a toilet or something, or a shower block. I don't know what this one is. So much debris about. Ah! The remains of a toilet. So there you go. This is... Uh, this is the toilet, then. There's the pipes running from the water tank back there. But look at that. Now it's all crumbling away. So just up ahead is where we uh, we entered this uh, this building, but that's awesome. What a great place to visit. But like I said, over the next few months, I uh, I do believe that it's all going to be uh, bulldozed to make way for a, a new housing estate. There's so much history here from, uh, from World War II. But like I said, maybe somebody would like to, uh, to comment in the comment section and tell me what uh, these rooms were actually uh, used for. Like I said, I don't know if there were there were bedrooms or offices or what. Right, we're now, uh, now back outside, seeing what uh, other buildings are, are left. 
plenty of rubble about. The remnants of uh, bits and pieces, an old bath there. It's hard to tell uh, what is actually uh, the WAF site and what is actually uh, farm buildings. As uh, Sheep Walks Farm and um, the WAF site are sort of intertwined, the, uh, the farmer sort of, is, uh, sort of built his uh, the farm buildings and the barns and all that uh, on the WAF site. So his buildings are, are, are next to the WAF buildings. Now I should think uh, somebody somewhere out there must have uh, photographs, old photographs of uh, the RAF Swinderby WAF site in 1944-45 uh, uh, before it closed down. I'd like to uh, see them if anyone's got any so we can uh, we can have a look at uh, what it looked like then to, uh, to what it looks like uh, like now. Okay, here we are at uh, the water tower. I'm guessing that the water tower uh, fed the ablutions hut, kept the showers going and uh, things like that. Now there used to be a, a huge water tower over on the, the main part of uh, the RAF at Swinderby base. So this one just uh, just feeds the WAF site. But again, the uh, the whole place is dropping to pieces. Okay, now we're going to make our way through the forest here to uh, the first of three air raid shelters. Now they're all um, Stanton air raid shelters. They're all uh, steel reinforced concrete shelters. Uh, this first one, if I can find it, has uh, two entrances. can actually get inside this one. Uh, the, uh, the other entrance on the other side is, uh, is collapsing unfortunately. So again, a very, very dangerous place to visit. I 
also another another place to get uh, to try and get decent video here is a bit of a problem. Having to turn the video camera down to uh, 24 frames a second to try and get as much light in as I can. and eliminate all the, the graininess as well. We're just going to have a, a quick look at these because I, I have uh, made uh, videos in the past of uh, two of these air raid shelters. because when I visited uh, this place uh, in the summer I managed to find a third air raid shelter which uh, I never knew existed but again because nature has uh, taken over very very difficult to find just sort of uh, stumbled across it now when we go through this doorway you'll see that uh, the walls are, are caving in each side of the, the steps to get out. So it's all closing in on itself. Right, here we are looking for air raid shelter number two. Once again, another uh, Stainton air raid shelter built by Stainton um, Iron Works. Another one that's uh, steel reinforced concrete. This one only has uh, the one uh, entrance, but has uh, an emergency exit at uh, the other end. see there where all the, the sections are bolted together. As I said, built by Stainton Ironworks of uh, Ilkeston in uh, Derbyshire, I believe. would have had uh, bench seats there but uh, the vandals have uh, been around and kicked everything over and kicked everything in so there's the escape hatch at that end nature once again inside the place
these walls they do they do look in remarkable condition nature hasn't managed to uh, break break its way through these yet like I was saying it's steel reinforced concrete anyway so probably last a few more years yet well it would do if it wasn't going to uh, to dig them up of course oh look another uh, rotten old bicycle And so here we are onto air raid shelter number three. And there, uh, there's the escape hatch hiding there in the bushes. Unfortunately, the, uh, the entrance to this one has caved in uh, the brickwork uh, in front of the, uh, the entrance so you can't actually get inside this one so what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and uh, poke a camera down the escape hatch and um, see if we can get some photographs of, uh, of the inside once I've uh, managed to get near the escape hatch of course So there we are, that's what it looks like inside. So some of the brick supports there for the benches were still in place. So here we are at the entrance and as you can see, nature is everywhere here, it's taken over. And the, the brick, the 
bricks that surround the uh, the entrance have uh, of course collapsed so you can't get inside so again we shall poke a camera in there in a minute and see if we can take some photographs And this is one of the reasons why I keep on uh, saying these places are very, very dangerous indeed. What would happen if uh, you'd have gone inside there and then that entrance uh, collapsed? You'd be stuck. I very much doubt whether you'd be able to get a mobile phone signal from uh, inside one of these air raid shelters. And the escape hatch itself is... Uh, too high up to actually get out, there's no ladders or whatever inside, so you'd be stuck inside there. Maybe if you'd turned up with a friend or something then he could have got help or he may have been able to uh, to pull you out, or if, uh, if the pair of you were inside there then uh, maybe one of you can uh, lift the other one out through the escape hatch, but uh, like I said these places are very very dangerous to uh, to visit. This one is really uh, well and truly hidden in the undergrowth. It really is uh, an amazing sight to see. And it's all uh, hidden beneath nature. Right, I think there's a couple more buildings to uh, have a look at, which I've, uh, I've spotted over the other side there. Doesn't look to be uh, very much inside this one. Another storeroom or something. We'll go over to this building as well, which is uh, hiding over here in the bushes. Another one that's seen better days. Like I said, when I came here in the summertime, you couldn't get near any of these buildings at all. The, uh, the undergrowth was so dense, and all these buildings were hidden. Okay, so there you have it. 
that is what's left of the RAF Swinderby WAF section. Now if uh, any of you can actually identify any of the, the buildings that I was in, any of the rooms or anything like that, then please feel free to uh, leave a comment in the uh, comments section. And of course I've hope, uh, I hope you've all enjoyed this video and if you have then uh, please consider subscribing. Well, that's it. We shall just uh, fly across uh, part of the new uh, building site. Like I said, they're all going to uh, make their way across, across here and uh, dig everything up. So, until next time, thanks for watching.